Elements of the NFL draft are in full swing, and the Dallas Cowboys are hoping to make an already impressive lineup even stronger. Tobin McDuff has this report. Most people drive through Monday, Texas, not to Monday, Texas. But for defensive end L.J. Collier, it's home, and it's where his dreams of playing in the NFL began. Just an unreal feeling, man, just to get to see all the people in my hometown, just the way they feel about me. <laughs> just as crazy for me as it is for them. L.J. Collier has always been strong physically and mentally. You know, I've never thought myself less than anybody, no matter what anybody told me. I've always believed in myself. I had a lot of support, but, you know, at the end of the day, you got to believe you can do it, and I've always believed I could do this. You know, no matter what anybody told me, oh, well, you from Monday. Nobody from Monday's ever done it. Okay, I'll be the first. From defensive MVP for the Monday Moguls to all Big 12 at TCU, Collier has been feared and respected by opposing teams. You know, on the field, you know, it's a war zone. That's the mindset I like to bring to it, you know, hit anybody that ain't wearing the same color as me. When LJ's name is called in the 2019 NFL draft, he will celebrate. He will also give thanks to the one person he wishes he could celebrate with, his mother, Ruby. Who lost a battle with cancer four years ago. Cause my mom, last time she seen me play was my spring game my freshman year, and it wasn't the best game. You know, I didn't know that was gonna be the last time she got to see me play, and she passed away a little bit after that. You know, it crushed me. And that next season was tough, just dealing with her death and going through everything. So I told myself that next year, after that, that next spring, never again. I was gonna be a different person, a different player throughout all of it. Cause I know uh, she loved to see who the, the guy I am today. You know, I was still growing up when she was alive, and she'd love to see. You know, she'd be very proud of me and the guy I am today. That was Tobin McDuff reporting.